guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Janelle and if this is your first time stopping by you're welcome don't forget to click on that subscribe button to join the family and let's get to the video so in today's video as you can see my friend in the first clip she was really enjoying her headgear she was so happy about it that she sent me that video and she came around all the way from Ikorodu and gave me this job so I just wanted to show you guys how I made the headband First off, you just measure out um, your Asho K, the size that's going to fit your headband. And then you cut it out just like I did. And we are going to be wrapping the headband with the Asho K. So I'm going to be using the already uh, good end of the Asho K so that the end, the side that doesn't fray, I'm going to be ending it with that side. So you apply your uhu gum and yes my uhu gum is almost finished guys <laughs> you apply it and wrap the headband just like you see me do just follow the video you would definitely understand how to wrap a headband and if you cannot still get it watch my previous video on how i made that exaggerated uh, ashoke headband and you see a detailed video on how i did that so you wrap up your headband and I realized that the ends, you know, that I cut out were kind of big. So I kind of trimmed off the ends a bit. I'm going to be doing that to both sides. You trim it off so you could be able to wrap it well. And just watch the video, guys. So guys, I just want to say that uh, I really appreciate my friend for bringing this job for me. Like, it's not easy living in Korodu. There are a thousand and one vendors out there, but she chose to bring it all the way here to me. I really, really appreciate that. Like, friends that patronize friends are rare and they are God sent. So thank you so much, Nefemi, for bringing this job to me. And thank you for the many referrals you've given me. I really appreciate you, girl. So I'm going to be doing this and, you know, wrapping up the, the headband. And I'm going to show you guys the finished product. And there you have it. Everything is neatly wrapped. The emphasis on neatly wrapped. You wouldn't want your clients to be having you to be seeing any gum on the sides or any frame parts on the sides. So let it be neatly wrapped. The next step you're going to take is a velvet black ribbon that you're going to use to just wrap and close off the ends, you know, just to give it that neat finishing touch. So all you do, just watch the video. It's pretty self-explanatory. Watch the video, just wrap the black uh, ribbon around it and then you're done. Apply your gum to fold off the frayed edges and voila, you've got yourself a neatly wrapped headband. So there isn't any reason we can dance a Christmas polka. Hear a sleigh bells ringing, everybody sing. And as you can see, the ends are neatly wrapped, and we have ourselves a neatly wrapped Ashoke headband. Then we next we move on to the two roses. So for the for the roses, like this rose was actually very big. If you don't want yours this big, please try to make uh, cut out a smaller length. For this rose, I'm making use of 48 inches, like it was pretty long, <laughs> 48 inches of ashoke. So you know the, it's going to be a double rose, so you're going to cut two pieces of 48 inches of uh, ashoke. Make sure to cut like maybe 49 inches because you're going to be folding both edges. So you start off by pleating like you're pleating a fan otogeli. If you don't know how to pleat a fan auto gale and you want to see a video on how I do that please kindly leave a comment in the comment section below so after you pleat you start that pleating you start wrapping it you know to form the board you know roses have this you know wrapped board in the middle so that's what we're trying to you know create and next you're just twisting the fabric to look like the rose you know roses have that you know the a twisted kind of board in the middle before it starts um 
opening on the outside i don't know if you understand me but just follow what i'm doing you know just twist and wrap twist and roll together you know and then you use your needle and thread and you know tack it in place twist just like you see me do wrap and use your needle and thread and wrap it and tack it in place just watch the video as you can see we're already forming the bud the rose bud in the middle and it's looking beautiful <laughs> So guys, just watch the video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below, guys. So when you're okay with the size of the board you, 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 you'd like and you're getting to the end of the fabric, you're going to start like pleating it in a fan like uh, as if you're doing a, a fan gilly, you know, just to bring out, you start, just start pleating it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to explain it. I don't really know how to explain it, but if you know how to make a fan gilly, then you know how to pleat it. Just pleat it um, sideways, just like you see what I'm doing. I mean, you're not trying to get that pleat to come all round. So, I'll just start pleating. Like you see, pleat down, pleat down, and it's going all round. As you can see, pleat down, and it's going all round. Pleat down, and it's going all round. And until you have that. And I'm just going to say, because it's a double rose, you're going to be getting different, you know. When you're doing the second one, it's not going to turn out exactly the same like this one. You're going to have something different, but you're just going to try to tweak it to look, you know, the same. So I loved this, the way it turned out. So I'm trying to, you know, place it on my mannequin head to see how it's going to look. And this turned out actually beautiful. So I, you're not going to use your needle and thread. And as you can see, even though I have a purple thread with me, I actually ended up using the thread from the Ashoke to tack it in place. So you tack it neatly and when you're tacking it, please don't tack it in a way that the thread will be showing. Tack it neatly, like hide the threads in between the pleats. Tack it very, very neatly. And we are going, when you're done tacking to your desired, you know, uh, choice, you just move on to the next rows. So when, when you're done, you move on to the next rows. And I'm going to go ahead and do the next rows and I'll let, you, I'll get back to you guys. And as you can see, I'm done with the second one. And this one even turned out more beautiful than the first. Just like I said earlier on, like the more you do it, the more you get a hang of it. And the more you do it, the more beautiful it will turn out. So just try to tweak both to look the same, like almost the same. So I'm just trying to arrange it, place it on my headband to know how it's going to look. And next I'll be going in with my hot glue gone. My candle gum if you don't have hot glue gun you can make use of any gum you have but i like the hot glue gun because it's fast and uh, you know so i'm just going in with that and i'm going to be putting it neatly you know hot glue gun if you put it too much <laughs> it will just start spilling out 
and you don't want your client to see any trace of gum so that's why i'm putting it small just to hold it because i'm gonna still be going in with my needle and thread to tack it to the headband and make sure it's very very tight so i'm going to be using my hot glue gun you know to be placing it where i want so just use your hand to make sure you place it neatly emphasis on neatly guys always make sure your work is very neat and then when you're done you go in with your needle and thread like i said earlier on hide the threads between the pleats and between the twists so your clients don't see it everything has to turn out so neat just watch what i'm doing is pretty explanatory after i'm done with the with the hot gun i'm going in with my thread starting with the back join both roses together next i will now be tacking both roses to the headband itself and that's my beautiful friend she's equally helping around <laughs> so she came over to spend the night just so i could do this uh, uh headband for her because i told her i was freaking busy <laughs> and she was like no 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 please she would help and she was here she was helping around and she was excited you know to do this with me so guys just tack it tack it tack it And voila, your beautiful double rose headband is done and looking beautiful as ever. Tell me in the comment section, guys. Do you like it? Did I do a good job? Are you going to recreate this style or do you need this style? Kindly let me know in the comment section, guys. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this headband. I think Thank I you so much, guys, for sticking with me. I really do appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. See you all in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>